All right, so I'm going to give you an update on what's been going on. Uh, I am very interested in running the 13-inch tires on the car. That's 13-inch diameter, uh, like, you know, wheel size. That's what I want to run on the car. And uh, I've already purchased a set of those tires. Uh, Hoosier had a blowing out deal on them. I just couldn't pass it up, 90 bucks each. Had to get them. So I got, uh, I think, 13-inch wide in the back and 10-inch wide in the front. The next problem is I need wheels to run them. Now, I was pretty sure that 13-inch wheels would fit over my brakes because I had, this is a set of 13-inch by 12-inch diamond racing wheels, and I fit them over top of the brakes, and I tight put lug nuts on, and I spun them, and I have lots of room there, and I in the front I have lots of room with these, but these ones don't have the right offset. They make the car too wide. So, I ordered another set, 13 by 12 inch diamond racing wheels with a different offset and uh, they don't fit. The reason they don't fit is because of this section here. See it steps in like that. Uh, unfortunately, because this one had a three inch back spacing, the caliper never hit this part. But this one has a six inch back spacing and it hits. So, this does not clear the brakes. I called Diamond Racing Wheels. They can't help me. Uh, they're not, they use the same barrel for all their 13 by 12s, so there's no change there. So I'm forced to uh, run something different. So aluminum wheels will fit, so I'm gonna be getting a set of aluminum wheels that will fit over top of the brakes. And so that's where I'm at, uh, except that aluminum wheels are $400 each. And these ones were $100 each, so that's where, that's where I gotta go. So stay tuned, subscribe to the video page, and uh, hopefully I'll give you some more updates soon.